welcome to the live stream video interviews here at Alfred's on Beale Street. We are from the National Women in Blues, and thanks to Yippee Kaye Radio, we are going live video stream for you today. We've got a list of guests you would not believe. In the meantime, what I'd like to do is introduce you to our hostess with the Moses. She may have started in Missouri, but she's off in Colorado now. Miss Erica Brown, blues artist, blues woman, blues historian, blues lover, and a sister in blues that I absolutely adore. Hi, honey. Hello. How are Good you? Good morning. I am very well. Oh, we are still live from Alfred's on BB and Beale at the International Blues Challenge. Uh, and thanks to Yippie Kaye Radio, National Women in Blues, Blues Picks, Sweetwater Farms, uh, Bessie's Backyard Barbecue, uh, Memphis Blues Society, Blues E News, um, and so many others. Just blues too Foundation. Many. Uh, yeah, of course, Foundation Generation Blues. Generation and now Erica's going to do our last inter official interview of the stream with Lola Gully, but a little later I'm uh, coming back with Nakomi to fill you in on what's been going on since we talked last night. Right. So, Lola, Erica, have a blast. All right. Have a seat. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. So we're going to start this off the way I started off with everybody else. Um, we know your Lola Gully website. Uh, www.lolagully.com. Okay. Okay. So um, are you competing? No. You're not. Okay. So you're here just to hang out and network and... All Pretty much, stuff. yeah, support. Okay. Are you playing any showcases or anything? Uh, no showcases, but I will be um, performing in some of the uh, live jams. Okay, okay, excellent. So now, do you sing? What's your instrument? Uh, I'm a singer. Um, I'm signed to Willby Records okay. by William Bell from Sax Records. William Bell? Yeah. You women are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It goes without saying your future is going to be extremely bright. Uh, well, you know, I'm having a good time, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So are you working on a project now? Do you have one out? What do you yeah, I have an album out called Clean It House. Uh, it's been out for the last couple of years, but I'm working on it. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. So, did, so walk me through this William Bell thing. Are you are you signed to, to his label this, or his? Will be ready. Will be record. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Like got it, got it. Bell will be. Got it. <laughs> For some reason, I went Australia when I heard will be. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, um, give me some historical background on you. Um, okay, well, let's see. I, uh, I was born in New York City. That's a car. Oh my goodness! You're going to start right oh, now. Oh, hello. Da, 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 I was born in Mexico. <laughs> now I was raised in California. Um, and I traveled all over the world. I used to play keyboards for uh, Jack Taylor. Really? Uh, my father was one of the original. Um, uh, my uh, not my was Michael Pastor Joy. Really? Yeah, yeah. So. So music is so... Uh, I had a headache. Oh. oh my God, you are the product of living history. Oh. Woo, my closet joy. Yeah, right? They got me through many. That's a whole nother segment. Right. Right. I didn't understand it back then, but I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. So have you always wanted to do this? Um, I, I don't know that I always wanted to do this. It was just you know, two or three years old. Instruments were around the house. I would pick them up and play them. Yeah. I, music has always been in my soul. I didn't know what I was going to do. But, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like it. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So are you are you strict to blues? Are you blues with what? You know, I, I actually I was trained to be a music conductor. I was really? studying to be a music conductor, and uh, but um, William Bell's labels and Southern Soul Blues. Label. Uh -huh. So you know that's what I do, but I'm not just trying to Okay, okay. So you like score music and all that good yeah. stuff? And, wow. Yeah. Wow. I have a friend in Colorado. His name is Christopher Dragon, and he's a conductor of the Colorado Symphony. Mm. And what a character! Yeah. <laughs> so you conductors, y'all are interesting bunch. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. So cool. Oh, I've, I've talked to so many women. Uh, day before yesterday and today, 
It's like, I want to be you for just a little while. No, you know, bro. You got a life going on. No, you know. This <laughs> is hard work, especially yes, for women. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Would you expound on that a little bit for me? Yeah, I mean, like, um, what people don't understand is a lot of times when I'm on festivals or or any kind of a gig, I'm the only female. And it's very tough. Like, um, um, I said something last night. I was at the jam last night. It's not a bad thing, but the guy comes up to me and he goes, um, you do this every year. Don't, don't come up here and, and uh, control the stage like you always do. And I was what? telling a friend, I was telling a friend, so if it was a male that came up here, he's controlling the stage, he's telling you what key is in, how the song goes, whatever. Or a female is controlling the stage, it's always a bad thing. You just have to know how to, you know, yeah. work, work your scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, right, right. But still be powerful. Right, still right. Powerful. And that, right. And, and be authentic to you, you know. And, and thank you, bro, but I got this. Well, I don't say it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do. But, <laughs> but hey, I'm saying it on the inside. Right, 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 right. And, and actually, to be honest, I rarely, I don't do that every once in a while. It just depends on the situation, you know. Um, but sometimes, as you can tell, I tend to get a lot of fun. It's what you do. It, it is. It is what I do. It's, it's, and when you realize that this thing is what gets you where you live, it changes your world view. You know, it changes. It changes. Sometimes it changes how you get up in the morning. You know, I wake up with a song in my head, and I there have been mornings I woke up and I realized I'm waking up out of a dream or something with music in my head, and it just kind of carries through. And I get up and I'm singing as I get up. You know, I'm singing as I go to bed. I'm always whistling, singing, snapping my fingers, something. So my soul, my band members, that's what I thought. Go here. What? Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I I'm doing the, it again? I'm the complete opposite. I, I don't really? a lot of people don't even know I'm in music because I don't really? I don't play music around the house. And really? I don't. Wow. <laughs> now there are times when I'm at home when I'll turn everything off and literally have silence in the house. Um and then but then of course, you know, the hamsters feel like they have free reign. So <laughs> so they kind of take off. But that's an interesting thing. Wow. But by the same token, you have an extremely rich musical life. So, you know, wow. Wow. Interestingly enough, you are one of those people that every once in a while, there's no other way to say it. You have these, what my mother used to call these true moments of four scenes. And and I I see you I can see you and I am so excited that I'm just gonna look up one of these days and go huh I'm a dog <laughs> there she is because it just kind of you have this wonderful assurance about yourself you know and this, this quiet confidence about yourself you are going to do what you do and let nothing stand in your way and it's and it's really easy to see. Is there any other way? <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh. Oh, so um, I've asked other people this question, so I'm going to ask you this. Is there anything in particular that you want all of our watchers out in live stream land to know about you? No, not really. But uh, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to be on, uh, on set. And uh, I, I love what you guys are doing. And, um, I, I would like to say that I share the title of uh, Atlanta's Queen of Blues with Sandra Hall and Francie Reed. All I'm right. so honored to uh, get that award. Uh, yeah. uh, it's September 29th, career in Atlanta, yeah. so I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of what I do, yeah. proud of what you do, and Michelle, proud of what she does. Yeah, yeah. Just thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for stopping in with us. I am so excited. Okay, one more time. Website, lolagullyall.com. Please, for God's sake, go find her. Buy her music before it doubles in price because it's going to. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for coming by. This was Thank a treat. You. Thank you. Oh,